Ever wondered how a man could live both as a feared outlaw and a respected citizen? Welcome to the extraordinary life of Frank James. In the annals of American history, few names stir up as much intrigue as Frank James. Born Alexander Franklin James in Missouri in the mid-19th century, Frank's life was a paradox that continues to fascinate historians and enthusiasts alike. The early years of Frank's life were undeniably humble, a stark contrast to his later years. Born into a farming family he was the oldest of three siblings. His father a Baptist minister instilled in him a strong sense of morality, a trait that would seem to be at odds with his later life choices. However the tranquility of Frank's early life was abruptly shattered by the tumultuous times in which he lived. The American Civil War broke out when he was just 18, and like many young men of his time, he was swept up in the maelstrom. It was in these turbulent times that Frank James was introduced to a life of crime. Following his service in the Confederate Army, he found himself living in a divided and chaotic nation. Disillusioned and frustrated, Frank, along with his younger brother Jesse, turned to a life of outlawry. This decision marked the beginning of an era that would see Frank James transform from a farm boy to a feared criminal. But here's where the story takes an unexpected twist. Despite his notorious activities, Frank James managed to carve out a life for himself as a respected citizen. He was a paradox, a man who straddled two disparate worlds with an uncanny ease. How did he manage to do this? How did he balance life on the run with life in society? How did he evade the law while simultaneously gaining the respect of his peers? These are the questions that make Frank James a truly enigmatic figure. As we delve deeper, prepare to be astonished by the contradictions that define this man's life. At a young age Frank James was thrust into a world of violence and lawlessness. Ripped from the comforts of an ordinary life, Young Frank was cast into the tumultuous whirlpool of the American Civil War. His involvement in the war was not by choice, but rather a matter of survival. His home state of Missouri was a battleground and the war's chaos became a crucible that hardened him into the man he would become. The war years were a baptism by fire for Frank. He served under notable Confederate guerrilla leaders like William Quantrill and Bloody Bill Anderson. These men, known for their brutal and ruthless tactics undoubtedly left an indelible mark on Frank's psyche. The lessons he learned from them would serve him well in his later years as an outlaw. But it was after the war, when Frank returned to a shattered and lawless Missouri, that he truly began his life of crime. Finding no place for himself in the post-war society, Frank, along with his younger brother Jesse, joined the James Younger Gang. This band of former Confederate guerrillas quickly gained notoriety for their daring bank and train robberies. Frank's role in the gang was significant. He was part of the infamous Glendale train robbery, where the gang made off with a substantial sum. He was also implicated in the audacious daytime robbery of the First National Bank of Northfield, Minnesota. These exploits, among others, made Frank James a household name, feared by some, but romanticized by others. Yet it wasn't just the audacity of their crimes that set Frank and the James Younger gang apart. It was their seemingly invincible run from the law. Time and again they slipped through the fingers of the authorities, adding to their legend and elevating them to the status of folk heroes in the eyes of many. But life as an outlaw was about to take a surprising turn for Frank James. His tale, as wild as it was, was far from over. The outlaw years were just one chapter in the extraordinary life of Frank James. After years of living on the run, Frank James made a decision that shocked everyone. Frank's days of moving from shadow to shadow, evading the law, were about to take a drastic turn. Tired of the outlaw life, he did the unthinkable, the unexpected. He surrendered. In the spring of 1882, Frank James strode into the governor's office in Jefferson City, Missouri, and handed himself over to the authorities. This was a man who was part of the infamous James Younger Gang, a man who had lived outside the law for so many years, and yet, here he was, offering himself up for judgment. His surrender was met with widespread astonishment, after all this was the notorious Frank James, a name synonymous with robberies and lawlessness. But what was even more surprising was the public's reaction. Instead of revulsion or fear, there was a wave of sympathy and support for Frank. The trial that followed was a spectacle in itself. Frank the outlaw stood in the dock not as a hardened criminal but as a symbol of the old Wild West, a remnant of a bygone era. His defense attorney played on this image portraying him not as a villain, but as a man pushed into a life of crime by the circumstances of his time. The public it seemed, were willing to accept this narrative. Despite the weight of his past crimes, Frank was acquitted. 
the courtroom erupted in applause, an affirmation of the public's unexpected support for him. This was a pivotal moment in Frank's life, a turning point. From being an outlaw, he had become a folk hero, a symbol of resistance against the changing times. But one question lingered in the minds of many. But could a man with such a notorious past truly leave it behind? In a stunning reversal of fortunes Frank James began his journey as a law-abiding citizen. This was a chapter of his life that was as unexpected as it was inspiring. After years of living outside the law, he now chose to walk the path of righteousness, setting an example for many who had followed his earlier darker path. After his acquittal Frank James didn't waste time in turning over a new leaf. He embraced an array of jobs, each one a step away from his former life. He worked as a shoe salesman, a burlesque theater ticket taker and even as a telegraph operator. Each job was an honest living, a far cry from his days as an outlaw. It was as if he was trying to make up for his past, one honest day's work at a time. But his attempts to lead a normal life weren't limited to his professional endeavors. He also sought to build a personal life that was devoid of the violence and lawlessness that had characterized his earlier years. He got married, started a family, and even tried his hand at farming. His efforts were a testament to his desire to leave his past behind and start afresh. Yet distancing himself from his past wasn't easy. His reputation as an outlaw preceded him casting a shadow over his attempts at reform. But Frank James was undeterred, he continued to strive for a life of normality demonstrating a resilience and determination that was as commendable as it was surprising. His transformation was not just personal, it was also a symbol of the changing times. The Wild West was giving way to a more civilized era, and Frank James once a symbol of the lawlessness of the past, was now a symbol of the change that was sweeping across the land. Frank James's transformation from an outlaw to a respected citizen was remarkable, but it wasn't the end of his story. Despite his efforts to lead a normal life, Frank James's past continued to haunt him until the end. The notorious outlaw of the Wild West, known as much for his criminal exploits as for his surprising surrender and attempt at a peaceful life, could never truly escape his past. In his later years, Frank James was not the restless outlaw he once was. He had made an earnest attempt at living a law-abiding life, even holding a regular job at a shoe factory. Yet, the shadow of his past lingered on. His death in 1914, at the age of 72, marked the end of an era. The fascination with Frank James did not end with his death. If anything, it only grew stronger. The public's curiosity about this man who had lived on both sides of the law was insatiable. Books were written, films were made, and songs were sung about his life and crimes. Frank James was often depicted as a romantic figure, a rebel against a corrupt system. This image however was far from the truth. His life was filled with violence and crime and he spent his later years struggling to escape the consequences of his actions. Despite the romanticized portrayals there was also an understanding that Frank James was a deeply complex individual. He was a man capable of great love and loyalty, but also of violence and deceit. He was a contradiction, a puzzle that continues to intrigue us. Frank James's legacy is not one of heroism or villainy, but of humanity. He was a man who made mistakes, who tried to correct them, and who ultimately had to live with the consequences. His story serves as a stark reminder of the complexity of human nature and the thin line between right and wrong. Frank James's life was a testament to the complexity of human nature and his story continues to captivate us even today. As we delve deeper into his life we are forced to confront our own perceptions of morality, law, and justice. And in this confrontation we find ourselves more fascinated than ever.